Hello and warm greetings. I'm here to present you the English news at this time. An explosion has gone off in Afghanistan's capital, Kabul, injuring one person, a police spokesman said. A blast on Monday was caused by an explosive device placed near a park in a residential neighborhood in central Kabul, Basir Mujahid said. One person was wounded, a health ministry official confirmed. This comes a day after a deadly car bomb explosion killed at least eight people near a provincial government building in Jalabad in the country's eastern province of Nangarhar. Following Sunday's blast, four attackers stormed the finance directorate in the provincial capital, triggering heavy fighting with security officials. A site bombing at a police headquarters in an innocent city of Sarabaya on Monday was carried out by a family of five riding on two motorbikes, police say. It came after another family carried out bomb attacks on the three churches on Sunday. Police blamed an Islamic state inspired network. An eight year old daughter survived the latest attack, police say. Indonesia is the world's most populous Muslim majority country. The archipelago, home to 260 million people, has been resurgent of Islamist militancy in recent years, but the scale of the attackers in Sarabaya has raised fresh concerns about the potency of jihadist network. Video footage of the latest attack on the police headquarters shows two motorbikes approaching a checkpoint just before the blast. Six civilians and four police officers were injured, the authorities say. China has welcomed a pledge from Donald Trump to help save ZTE, one of the Chinese biggest telecoms companies. The firm has suspended operations after the US last month banned America companies from selling its component ZTE had admitted to making illegal shipments to Iran and North Korea. But Mr. Trump has now tweeted he will work with the presidency to help ZTE get back into business fast, saying too many jobs in China were at risk. Chinese calls the comments positive. We greatly appreciate the positive position of the U.S. to on the ZTE issue and are in close communication with the U.S. on the details of issue Foreign Ministry spokesman Liu Kang said. U.S. commentators say the turn of the tweet is a dramatic shift for Mr. Trump, who has consistently accused China of stealing, stealing U.S. jobs. The concession to Beijing comes ahead of high-level trade talks later this week in Washington aimed at resolving an escalating trade dispute between the world's two largest economies. Beijing has made resolving the situation with ZTE, which implies about 80,000 people, one of its demands for striking a broader trade agreement with the U.S. At least 41 Palestinians have been killed and 1,800 wounded by Israeli troops in clashes on the Gaza border, Palestinian officials say. The violence came as the U.S. opened at its embassy in Jerusalem, a controversial move that has infiltrated Palestinians. They see it as a clear U.S. backing for Israel rule over the whole city, whose eastern part Palestinians lay claim to. President Donald Trump told the opening ceremony via video link the Jerusalem move had been a long time coming, he said. Israel is a sovereign nation with the right to determine its own capital, but for many years we failed to recognize the obvious. He also said the U.S. remained committed to facilitating a lasting peace agreement. Thank you. That was a brief presented. Good night.